Hello everybody, today I'm going to be taking a look at Plastic Soldier Company's Waffen SS Platoon in 20mm for Battle Group. Okay, so I'm going to be taking a look here at the Waffen SS uh, Late War Grenadier Platoon. So this is from Plastic Soldier Company and um, it's their Men of Steel range for Battle Group. So these are Ultracast models, so they are um, a spun cast um, or injection molded rather sort of resin. They're based on Adler's metals, um, so some people may be aware of these already. The box contains 33 miniatures for your platoon in 20 mil or 170 second. So you get uh, HQ, NCOs, riflemen, three Panzerfausts, and then three walking and three prone LMG teams. Some assembly may be required. So, getting these out, we have a Ziploc bag and the miniatures themselves. So let's start. Here we have a set of four riflemen. Good level of detail. Um, just seeing if I can spot any mold lines. There is a mold seam running horizontally around the model. You may be able to see it on the back of this fellow's head, just on the uh, helmet cover. Trenching tool, gas mask, bread bags, all there. Faces are well cast. Nice model. Here we have one of the NCOs. Kneeling down. And signaling with an MP40. Again, detail has been captured very well. Uh, that, let me see if I can point it out. front of the MP40 here. It looks like we have, I don't think it's meant to be a strap, although it could be a strap. I'm going to have to bring this out of shot so I can have a look because my eyes. Hmm. Oh, it is a strap. Okay. So there's a bit of cleanup to do here where we have these little sort of uh, extrusions, but then it runs up and over his ammo pouches and under his uh, elbow there, just under the oxter. Okay, so it's not a big cleanup. When you're cleaning these, um, don't go for a file. Put a fresh blade into a knife and then you want to just scrape off or cut off um, to prevent burring but the uh, NCO is very very nice uh, we have another set of riflemen here we have our three Panzerfausts so at the ready kneeling at the ready standing and marching again Good quality, uh, slight bit of mould cleanup required between the legs there. Uh, on the bases also in places we've a, uh, a bit of pitting there, but if pitting has to happen anywhere I'd much rather have it on the base than have it on the model itself. Again, may need to get in there to clean up, but overall I'm very impressed with the quality of these. Um, we have another, 
another one of our NCOs. This time moving and shooting. Here we have the IMG teams, so two man teams, plenty of ammo, classic look for Germans on the march. We can see quite a kink in this rifle and in this LMG from above. So they will need to be straightened. Generally, you can just straighten these with heat. So hair dryer will do the job or drop it into hot water. Um, out of the tap is generally good enough. Quite like them. Nice set. Here we have another set of riflemen. Just want to see. If we've uh, replication, he's definitely the same at the end there. Uh, potentially kneeling. So there's a good amount of variation in them, I think. Looks like only two. Yeah, looks like only two miniatures have actually been uh, replicated on the sprues. And then we have another rifleman. Our final NCO. And then our prune LMG teams. So we have three gunners. along with three looters. As you can see, these Adler figures are really nice sculpts and um, I'm very impressed by the, the ultra cast, the, the resin version. Um, they've captured all the detail very nicely. I haven't seen anything particularly egregious with bubbles or miscasts. Cleanup should be minimal. And they should also be a bit more um, robust because you've got quite a bit of flex or leverage in them because they are that plastic. So having to worry about bent barrels or guns breaking um, should be less of an issue with these than they are with uh, hard plastics and also because they have that um, plastic nature they will return so metal models you can kink the barrel uh, flake the paint on them because you have to keep twisting them back into position here we are. They also have bipod setups for the 42s and guessing this is the little command section. Map reader and uh, again a field telephone or field radio. So that is the contents of the SS box. Now, I've also been sent these. I haven't seen these on the site yet, so I imagine these are prototypes. Um, and we'll get a little pouch pack later on. So we'll have a quick look at the 81 millimeter mortar. So we have two sprues. Sprues are not identical. So again, that's nice. Have two crewmen with additional um, ammo. So a couple of closed ammo crates and an open one on this. So you can dress your base. The motor itself is well cast, relatively straight. 
there's a slight slight bend on the vertical on this um, and then the bipod with it again clean up to do around the actual mortar and on the helmet here but overall very very nice casting and finally the Grenadier HMG so these will be more 42s but tripod mounted rather than bipod so we get a three-man team this time is it nope four-man team better one loose for each so we have an officer pointing and we have firer and a couple of guys prone either spotting or reloading this guy's head is down below here again Similar layout on both sprues, slight differences, so not 100% the same, I think. Or are these, bear with me, while my old eyes focus in. I know, unlike the motors, these are, so this is the same pair twice, but then the fourth, so the, um, possibly the team leader. Is a different sculpt so there is a bit of variation in there so there we are that is um 20 mil waffen ss so late war from plastic soldier company so there we have it um beautiful sculpts that new material casts the detail really really well uh clean up a little bit fiddly um but fairly doable and i think it really captures the look of them so if you're interested in getting into a battle group in 170 second or 20 mil then i would definitely recommend checking these out go ahead and check out our other content on screen now and while you're at it why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong go on you know you want to click it go on